Yeah, a little enemy go, nigga. So I'm finna really get that dude on the dead homie. I'm the dead homies. Yo, I don't take this respect. YouTube, YouTube, the white baby's back, man. And I'm coming at y'all like a madman, you feel me? Because it's time for me to step my game up, you feel me? So I, I want a thousand videos on here by just make a go. August 2nd. I have a goal to have my thousandth video on August 2nd. Mm -mm. We're going to do it for my click. Ninth butt at night day. We're going to set that. Let me write that down. Okay, the goal is for hood day. My hood day, the nine block. To be the day that I... I that's going to be my thousandth video. I don't know what's going on, what's going to happen, none of all that. You feel me? But, uh, but, uh, I'm about to tell Gucci about a situation that just transpired. You feel me? Which is the, um, I'm going to open up a new, uh, hashtag. You feel me? I'm feeling the gangbangers life coach, the homie Crazo from Raymond Crip, 10 Dew Street, Lil Crazo. If you haven't done so, the gangbangers life coach is a very informative and positive channel that I, I suggest I'm subscribed to. I think that you should do the same. You feel me? He's reached that 2,000 mark. Let's blow the homie up. But um, what I want to do now is hashtag near. Uh, uh, we doing the life changing, near life changing incidents. So this isn't where I almost got killed. You feel me? That's a near life. That's a near death experience, but a near life changing experience. And my definition would be where you were in a situation where you could have been incarcerated, a STD, you feel me? A life changing experience, something of a traumatic uh, um, weight, you feel me? Something that could transpire. And what just happened to me, I'm waiting for Gooch right now. He's just waking back up, you feel me? I didn't want to go to sleep. It's like how Crazo told you how it was at Pelican Bay in the shoe program, one up, one down. That's how we run our Wyatt Baby program out here. The homie got to get to work. You feel me? We was late yesterday. I don't repeat mistakes. So he admit he should have listened to the kid and got up. But what I say, get up, because I, I do this. But a situation just transpired. You feel me? That could have changed my life. If Gucci was there, we gonna. I'm going to tell him he don't even know what happened yet. He was actually at home resting, you feel me? This situation transpired when I decided to come home, straighten up. I cooked, had a great meal, you feel me? And, and wanted to do my legal paperwork. I had a plan. Get some rest. Lay back, relax until I woke Gooch up at 6.30. We got to be to work at 7.30. No, 8.00. So I'm sleeping that time frame, you feel me? While he up, one up, one down. So I start doing my uh, social media sneak peeking, you feel me? Um, and I, I, I seen my boy, Javon Jackson. Shout out to Javon Jackson, councilman for North Las Vegas. I'm gonna get all the information doing, blow him up. Cause uh, 
I even made me a little sign, put my Black Lives Matter shirt on. I was driven with a purpose, you feel me, to go down there and represent for the homie, which I could still do without being there in the person. You know what I'm saying? Because I really want to try to sneak through and see the kids tonight too, rest, get Gucci to work. It's a lot of things. But something threw me off. A near life changing incident. I'm trying to prolong to wait until Gooch comes in. Because see, this, uh, where it happened at is 7 Eleven. The 7 Eleven is located on Harvard and Barrett. I'm going to try to get the video, the video footage because I put my phone in my pocket. I didn't, I was ready to, for, uh, combat you feel me and you can't combat with a phone in your hand on ingles so my phone was in my pocket but i my attention for having the phone record wasn't to share this incident on youtube that's from the deepest depths of my heart i already came in there filming he put him all on blast a stink team member gets busted out by an inglewood or an ingle weird dude you feel me because i came at blood real weird but i was upset so much so that I didn't make it. I had to go to a park since I'm in Las Vegas. It can't go down to where I always go to, to my Amanda's Island, Mandy's Island, located it's Doc Wilder Beach off of a period. That's my relaxed zone. You feel me? Me and my baby mother of 10 years, that was where she would take me when I was ready to just, ah, you feel me? But this situation, you hear me? Um, let me give you my dress code. I have on some red cargo shorts, red belt, red and white pumas. Uh, uh I got uh the homie uh green eyes from T Zone and the homegirl Pooh, uh Big KO from the seven out the T Zones, the Compton Click. Uh they clothing line. Let me throw that blast out there, you feel me? Because I'm all about positivity and that's every video, if you really pay attention to the kid, that's what I'm out here promoting smell me and um i'll show you the black lives matter though shirt that they was pushing that they got for sale you feel me so on the level of game banging wise i didn't have no flag you can tell i'm a dumb move i got a red inglewood hat on Now, the homie Gooch from Fodies worked at this 7-Eleven as well as his wife. You feel me? So we frequented this spot for the last four years. We know the owner, managers, everybody on the game. Now, this is where the learning experience comes in. Because when Crazo was given all of his uh, near-death experiences, he, he emphasized the lessons that a coach would provide to his team uh, members to motivate, educate, and dominate the negativity in these streets through education, knowledge, and wisdom. And the only way to obtain those things are honestly via an experienced or educated individual in that area. And I'm both, being that I have a bachelor's degree, an associate's degree, I actually got two, so I got a, 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 a psychology degree when I was in Y that it wasn't accredited and it doesn't count out here, but that doesn't take away or deter from the, the not deter, but detract or do you know, decrees take away, you know what I'm trying to say, Inglewood. It doesn't take away from the fact that I read those books, studied those books, took those finals, theses, midterms, I did that. I sacrificed the time, blood, sweat, and tears in order to educate myself in the California Youth Authority with what I thought would be an education that I could use once I was pro. I was wrong. The University of Laverne program was not accredited in YGS. It was basically a study group. But I acquired knowledge nonetheless that helped me to be more proficient and understanding individuals and playing stupid and acting because these are things that I want to do, you feel me? So I practice with you stool pigeons and dummies out here frequently. But being banged on, I've been home, you hear me? I did. I got incarcerated, did 10 years, whoa, and 
been back and forth, but never to prison. I probably went to the county one, two, three times, and that's it. I went to jail out here for something I didn't do, based on, I, I'll make a video about that one day. Near life changing the van, uh, all eagles. But um, I'm gonna now change my near life. I was gonna try to match Crazo with the 10 and I went to 12. I'm gonna actually go for my clip. I'm gonna do 99 near death experience. Oof. I don't know if I even got that many. We're gonna just keep going and keep going and keep going until I can't go no more. I'm gonna pick a specific day with the help of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to y'all, put it in y'all hands. When y'all wanna see me talk, like, this is going to be a platform like no other platform. I've already got um, content on here that you can't find nowhere else. And I'll explain all of that. Because like I said, if by 9-9 day, I want that to be my thousand video, I got to drop, 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 drop. Drop it like it's hot. Because my goal was to match every subscriber with a video. Like, I wanted to personally, you know, attach a video every time I got a subscriber, drop a new video as I grew. But um, this situation that happened today with this stink team member, I know that the thumbnail or whatever they call that, the title may look kind of clickbaitish. That's why I've decided to put this part of the video first. Like I said, it's going to be a three part prompt video based on there is serious ramifications about what I just went through. I was victimized, guys. Look, hear me, I I was going to go tell my guy I had his back and wanted to support him in the voting game. But no, to be real honest, I think he boo boo it. He said he gotta take a piss. He tried to come in my bathroom, you feel me? Cause blah, 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 blah. This is my studio. And for those who haven't heard the story of why I, I'm i sitting in my bathroom in a majority of my videos, it's a little thing in psychology called institutionalization. And this comes from the theory that I was just speaking of that Crazo spoke on, the one up, one down. It is how do you stay up while your partner sleep? This toilet became your sanctuary, you feel me? The, the metal was so hard that the ass couldn't relax. One of the tactics that I learned, like how, how does he stay up for three days with no drugs? I did it in YA with no drugs in Ellis. When I first riled up and I seen what night crawling was. I'll explain that what night crawling was and how night crawling was what provided me with this skill to stay up with coffee. Like you can I can't just do it. Cause you know, I'm saying I'm not on drugs, but technically I believe that certain things that aren't qualified as drugs, um, to me are drugs like sex, caffeine, nicotine, tobacco, masturbation. Those are all drugs, because what a drug is, something to heal you, relax you, fix you, and all of those things stimulate you, make you feel better and gay or great or whatever the fuck you is, depending on the genre of person or, or, or what you identify as today, you feel me? They was tripping off us, calling us funny and weird, because we identified as bloods and crips. But now an uh, individual could identify himself as a him, it, he, her, or, or she. No disrespect to the LBGT community at all. But I'm speaking my First Amendment constitutional freedom of speech right amended to us in the Bill of Rights by the constitutional forefounders of the United States of America with the establishment of this state when we defeated the Great Britain nation that tried to dictate us under a, a kingship. So please don't try to censor me when I'm only speaking my First Amendment protected right of speech that is not offensive, that is not, uh, uh, um, what's that? It's not uh, a lie. It's not uh, defaming anyone's character. I'm not slandering anybody. Everything that I say is true, accurate, and like I said again, protected by 
that constitutional amendment that is in that bill of rights. So I'm finna stop here. I've been talking 13 minutes. It's longer to get sick biscuits, the motherfucking Popeyes, cuz.